Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting out on my porch this morning, enjoying my coffee. The sun is coming in and out of the clouds. It's going to be a very mild day today, so that is such a blessing. I don't know what I'm going to get done today, but I know that I'm going to be dehydrating some more mushrooms. I got me some portobello mushrooms. They were on sale, so I kind of broke them up into little chunks. And there are actually three trays down there. I don't know if you can see them, but it's not going to be super hot today, but that's okay. There's plenty of, uh, there's a breeze in the air, so I don't have to use the little fan thing. So I don't know how long this is going to take. This may take two days because these are pretty beefy mushrooms, but I cannot wait until they're all dehydrated and I can add them to the jar. I am so relieved for a number of reasons. First of all, it's going to be a cooler day today, which is great. I'm relieved that the sheep are doing well. They are doing so much better. Oh, you guys don't know the torment that I was going through worrying about those sheep that don't even belong to me. But they're doing great, and the family is so appreciative of all the help that they, that they receive from this community. So that is awesome. Um, I'm also relieved that I'm feeling better. My back is 90% better. And I gotta tell you, I have a greater sense of empathy for people who are chronically disabled with pain issues or, you know, movement issues or whatever is going on in your body because it gets depressing. It really is depressing. I, I don't know how I could handle, I could cope with you know, just having that every day for the rest of my life. See, I'm getting better. I feel better. But there's some people out there who they don't get better. That's what they got. They, they've got the choice of just bucking up and dealing with it or taking narcotics. And that's something I won't do. So God bless all you people who, you know, suffer day after day chronically. You know, I've, I've been at this for about a week. Um, and it was depressing because I was looking around, seeing things in disarray, um, not able to water my plants, not able to do things really at all, but I'm better. So, yeah, I'm happy. I, I'm really just relieved. Anyhow, enough of my blabbering. I need to get out and do something. Poor Baba. I couldn't figure out at first what this crazy chicken was doing, <laughs> but I figured it out. She's shadow boxing her shadow. There were a couple others that were getting up in that spot and doing it too. Crazy chickens. These have been going about eight hours and the sun is starting to go down but they are crispy. Can you hear them snap? They are definitely crispy. They're done, even the ones on the bottom. So I get to put these in the jar. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> it's totally full. The next time I'm gonna have to get a bigger jar. Miss Donna, the last time she came down, gave me some amber colored jars and it's really good to keep them out of the sunlight. So I'm gonna put them all in that jar the next time and um, yeah keep adding to it I would love to be able to find some more wild ones and I'm sure I will eventually right now nothing's coming up but you know a, a jar this size of dehydrated mushrooms would probably cost about 30 bucks and um, total I think I've spent about five or six dollars and this will last a long time Yay! Papa never acts like this unless there's a dog in heat in the neighborhood. So, yeah, I think I think Juan's been prowling. Poor boy. Well, the day has gone swimmingly. It's been a beautiful day. 
relatively cool. It's going to get cool again tonight, uh, probably about 59 degrees, so I'm not going to take the baby chicks. Papa, <laughs> barking at the neighbor's dogs. I'm not going to put the baby chicks out in the back of the van until I'm sure it's going to be above 70 degrees, um, at least until they're a couple weeks older. But I think they'll do fine in the back of the van, and I really want to put them out there because they're stinky. They are. The only bad thing is, is I can't keep as close an eye on them, but um, they need more room. They need more room. They're starting to peck at each other and quarrel and whatnot. Anyhow, I'm just glad it's kind of cool right now. But uh, I did want to share with you that I received a strongly worded email from one of my subscribers. And um, they criticized my decision to post that kind of political video about Nancy Pelosi. And um, they, they said they didn't think I should share stuff like that on a homesteading channel. All right, Papa, come on. Um, and so all I can say to you is I am so, so, so not sorry. I, I will promise you one thing, and that is that I will not post anything political first thing in the morning. That spot is reserved for my homesteading videos. Later on in the day or in the evening, I don't know, I may pop one off, you know, some crazy thing about culture or politics or um, stupid things people do in Hollywood or something like that. It's not going to become a, like a channel about all that stuff. Um, but so just so that you know that my morning videos will always be about homesteading. So if you see a second video from me during the day, you'll, you can just skip it because it's probably going to be about something you don't want to hear. Um, so thank you for the constructive criticism. <laughs> but uh yeah, it's my channel. I'm gonna I'm gonna say what I want. Anyhow, I gotta go take Papa for a walk. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.